Hi, I want to talk a little bit about posture in the first rib angle. Uh, posture is the position where we start and end a movement and ideal posture is basically a, a position where you can move fluidly without uh, injury or just compensation or just kind of uh, without stumbling through the movement. So um, for an athlete or for someone who just wants to move without uh, pain, it's really important to keep our posture nice and tall. And the first rib angle uh, plays a big role in this. And this is way up high um, from the front. It's uh, right directly behind our clavicle, right up here. And a lot of times people will have what's called, uh, when they breathe in, you put your hand on your chest, you'll notice your ribs go up and your back goes into extension. And when you exhale, you depress your chest. It goes down and you go into flexion in the spine. Now we do that 24,000 times a day and sometimes people get caught into what's called the exhalation pattern where they're just fixed down. We're real tight and short up in front and in the back they're kind of long. And that first rib angle can kind of tilt down and that's what we're kind of looking at right now. Um, and we can measure this to see if this is fixed. Normally in the front it'll be locked down tight here and in the back if you touch on the trap it's going to be real tender and it's going to be elevated. So elevated in the back, low in the front. So if we see someone with a greater than a 25 degree angle, that becomes a problem with the chest and the heart and be able to get a full breath. Because if you can't lift your ribs up, um, you're going to be having a problem. And your shoulders are going to go forward, your head's going to go forward, and you're going to start developing a Dowinger's hump in the back, which is that big little bump you see sometimes in older people that have the shoulder head in the dinosaur head thing sticking out. So to prevent that, what we want to do is make sure that first rib angle doesn't exceed 25 degrees. And we can simply do that by doing a quick little assessment with a big caliper. Um, I have a volunteer here that's gonna, we'll do this, we'll go from the sternal notch and we're just gonna look and see, maybe uh, flex your head forward a little bit. One more, more, chin down. Chin down, chin down, chin down. And then come back up. And he is right at about 24, 25. So he's right there. If someone's starting to go um, above 25, um, that becomes an issue. And we want to definitely do some things for posture work to prevent that uh, forward shoulder, forward head position, um, and help keep the shoulders back and the head, shoulder, hips, and uh, uh, are all in the line nice and tall. And this is important not only for um, athletics, um, but it's just good in general movement because if, for example, if you're forward like this and uh, you try to flex your arm up or lift your arm, it's going to be blocked. As soon as you stand upright, you can automatically flex your arm all the way up. So posture plays a big uh, a role in your amount of your freedom of movement. If your posture is limited or is inhibited in any way, you're going to lose uh, freedom of movement. So if you're looking to uh, um, figure out ways to get this first rib angle right via exercise or something called advanced biostructural correction, check out the link below.